Hi everyone, Anthony Becker here. So I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, the council meeting that was a couple days ago. Um, mainly because the the item, which was the written petition by uh, Dan Andrasik, sorry if I say your name wrong, uh, which is basically to start get council to agenda eyes uh, the the plan for council to go and speak with the state of California on moving the county courthouse in our downtown mainly because the courthouse is in the way of what we want to do is extend Main Street back to where it used to be and return our grid to what it was. Um, the talks went pretty well uh, in the beginning and then at the end I was disappointed. I was very heartbroken. Uh, reclaiming our downtown is very upset. Uh, Mary uh, Grizzle, Dan, all of them are very upset with the result of this and I think it's unfair that after four years this group has been fighting really hard and I feel we've gotten no progress uh, in this in this plan in this design and I think right now we have a major opportunity especially with the city you know own land and leases expiring we can do a lot with this and we can return our downtown as a millennial um, I've never you know been able to see what downtown was I've only re relied on the stories of our downtown um, especially from members of Reclaiming Our Downtown, residents of Santa Clara, and even my father who, you know, before he left for Vietnam, uh, downtown was there. He came home, downtown was gone. And he said since then, it, the city's pretty much, the downtown has died. And the core of Santa Clara has died. And that's what we need to do is we need to revitalize our core. A lot of other cities have a downtown. And that is where everybody mingles, that is where the heart is. And thinking more about it, I mean, having our downtown is where we'll have our parade of champions, is where we're going to have, you know, more farmer's markets, uh, maybe, you know, street dances and festivals. That's why we need a downtown. Uh, university students need somewhere to go instead of having house parties. Uh, you know, people need to go places for dates. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a perfect opportunity. But what council did the other night was go against what people want. I did a survey that, you know, for my campaign, and it says, like, I think it was 60% 60, uh, 60 say that not having a downtown is a major concern and issue to them, and it affects the quality of life. On the other hand, 50% uh, of Santa Clarans want a downtown again and want to see it rebuilt. And that is my goal as, you know, part of my whole campaign platform platform is that I want to build our downtown and get the get whatever it takes implemented to get into that process and make it shovel ready what happened at the like I said I was talking about that what happened at the council meeting is disappointing two council members voted against this and wanted to one of them wanted to push this all the way to January 2021 and push it after the elections why is it a political football are you gonna push it all the way to January 2021 and then you know, kick it down the road again. But my major concern about that one council member pushing it to January 2021 is that council member will no longer be on the city council. And it really brings a lot of questions to mind that is this city council member just checked out and the attitude that the city council member was giving to reclaiming our downtown and how quickly she wanted to motion the item to close, it, like I said, it just makes me feel like she's checked out and she doesn't care. And we need council members and we need people that are really invested into these projects and committed to these things and wanting to know what the community concerns are. That's why I'm running to replace her. I'm running, to, running for District 6 because this is the opportunity to create a city council that is going to be for what the people want and not what personal agendas are. And that is what I'm doing, is as my campaign uh, 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 tagline is, your priorities are my priorities. And downtown is a priority. Downtown has been a priority since I was a kid because like I said, I've never been able to experience that. And seeing how this went down I give a lot of kudos to the three council members that said we need to agendaize it, you know, sooner rather than later. And I agree. And I don't believe that pushing it past the election is a smart idea because reclaiming our downtown has been working forever. 
uh, Mary is a very dedicated person. Mary Grizzle is a very dedicated person who is going out there and she's a champion, man. Dan, uh, Dan, a champion. I mean, they're giving us a vision and creating this, this, this dream we've all had and it can come true. It's just, we need a council that's going to do it. And the, what we saw, and I think as we really saw this last week on Tuesday, we saw the true colors of certain council members and we saw the true colors of intentions of what the future is in the downtown project. It's time we elect leaders that are going to put these issues as priorities. That's going to say a downtown is key to the success of all Santa Clarence and their quality of life. University students want somewhere to go. I would love to somewhere to go. And it's time. But seeing how this is all played out, it's just not fair. It's not fair. That is why I am making this promise that I am going to be a champion for reclaiming our downtown. I am going to be a champion for getting our downtown built. And that's why if I'm elected within my first 30 days, because that will probably be in December, after November, the election's November, and we're sworn in in December, my first measure, if it hasn't been agendaized, is agendaize the talks between the state and the city to move the courthouse. And I will be the head of that, if that's the case. And I, if I am fortunately elected, I will ask the mayor if I can head that up, and if I can be a leader on that, because I think a champion for our downtown does not have to come from District 5. It can come from every district. And I really, really hope that Santa Clarans will see that. And I hope that I can be the champion for all of Santa Clara and the future of downtown. Thank you, everyone. And remember, please write letters to your city council and your city council members, especially from your district, uh, and ask them why they did not want to agendize it and that downtown should be a priority for all Santa Clara. Thank you.